So Fontaine is the city of justice and it is one of the most mysterious and most suspicious city till now cause there are so many things and rumors going around that city. And yeah in this video we will talk about the Hydro Archon and I will also discuss my theory about the backstory of Fontaine. So before starting off this video I want you guys to like this video and subscribe this channel. And now let's start. So according to Dansleuf in the Tevat chapter preview video by Hoyoverse the Hydro Archon seeks to judge all the other gods and but even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. What could this mean? Well, it's probably that she seeks to judge everything in Tevat, but she knows that she can't judge Celestia aka the divine. Speculations say that Celestia is currently above Fontaine because they are technologically advanced and she is trying to look innocent and sinless in front of the divine. Although in the preview Fontaine's thing is massacrate of the guilty. Doesn't that mean Fontaine and its god look innocent but are guilty behind their mask? So let's discuss my theory about the backstory of Fontaine. So the city of Fontaine was ruled over by a god named Capricorn or as the civilizations called him Neptune. Neptune was victorious in the Archon war and had become the Hydro Archon. Neptune was basically the king of Fontaine and lived in Gorgias place. Fontaine was ruled by Neptune for about 2000 years. One tragic day Neptune was murdered by a traveler. Neptune's adopted daughter Odin was furious and demanded that the killer should would be sentenced to death for her father's murder. The killer was executed and Odin inherited her father's gnosis, thus becoming the new Hydro Archon. She became known as the goddess of justice because she believed that anyone who commits a crime shall be punished. Instead of ruling Fontaine as a queen, she walked among her people. Everyone knows that who she is and many fans and followers greet her if she happens to walk by. Odin has said that she is Fontaine's sole protector and that anyone who defies the law will be paid because justice will be served. And since considering the ocean nuts left because of them disliking the current Hydro Archon over the original, I doubt that the current Hydro Archon is that the right in the head. From what we know from game and trailers, it seems the Hydro Archon is a judgmental freak with the ego size of the ocean while also being a hypocrite by not holding the divine to those same standards. The theme of all the nations is how their ideals are preventing them from developing. Mondstadt needed to lose its Archon so Venti can now actually help without breaching his ideals. Liyue was too deep in its contract with Rex Lapis for humans to take control over the city's system while Inazuma is suffering because the Archon is delusional over her ideals and most likely has lost herself in them, not realizing how her ideals only benefit her and hurt many. Fontaine should follow the same pattern, a corrupt court system that exists more for the show rather than to seek the truth. People convicted left and right for as much as stealing an apple and a system rigged to benefit the Hydro Archon. So what we know, since she's an Archon, Ondine would obviously be a 5 star character. She is obviously Hydro and she wields a polar. The name Ondine derives from the word Undine, which is a kind of similar water spirit. I named Capricorn after one of the 12 zodiac sign constellations. Capricorn is usually depicted as a goldfish hybrid. The name Neptune is a reference to the god of the sea in Roman mythology. Since Fontaine will likely be based off France, I made sure to give Ondine a French name. Ondine constantly says justice will be served. If she was a real character, I imagine that line would become a meme like Eula's vengeance will be mine. But yeah guys, this is all for today. What do you guys think about Fontaine and the Hydro Archon? Do you agree with my theory and my story? Comment down below. And now, thanks for watching.